It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Jets. And it's all up next. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they, too, were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Now we'll see what this offense can do as he'll get their first shot here with less than a minute gone by in the first quarter. Bernie from his own end zone. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they work this out past the 25. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, they were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Back to throw, Purdy. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. When you talk about this Jets defense, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even mark. If you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course. A pretty nice effort. And yeah, that is incomplete. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And on the... Still scoreless here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And check down completes a haul. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you. No score as of yet. Defenses have ruled here into the second quarter. But here's another third down situation to check in on. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Oh, uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. So here's the situation. The football in the red zone for the offense. Second down and one. On second down, McCaffrey. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, 
San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the top. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion. So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Here's Rodgers to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. The key coming up here, preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. To throw, it's Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. And the Niners are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT help. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. He'll get this into the hands of IU. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Purdy now to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done Challenger ground game, challenger offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be a... He's got a man complete, and this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet.
so it's a win for the Niners here, and it was thanks in part to the play of their third-year quarterback. Yeah, he was just on target all afternoon with three touchdown passes. They couldn't find a way to stop him, and ultimately, he guided them to victory. So for the Niners, they move back over 500 now at 4-3. And, and they'll have another road date next week with the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they drop back to 5-3.